so what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your ninth MongoDB tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to add actually not add but how to update your record or your document in your database for MongoDB and uh, let me just make some space here and uh, right now then I'm gonna say if I can get this again right right so now if I say like db.names.find.pretty you see that we get only one record da 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 but let's say I want to update this record right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say db.names.update then again it will accept an object and right here I'm gonna say that the field should be name which should be you know you have to match this thing then only the object would be updated so the name should be da 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 right and uh, what it should be done is say that it should be set to then the name should be set to let's say mehul again right so the set would just kind of pretty much change whatever Ma is matched right here so it would then change the name to mehul if i specify any other property then it would add it as well so right now if i hit enter well it looks like we haven't closed something okay so looks like what are we missing right there db dot names set name equal to mehul this one closed this one closed and this one oh probably on terminated whoa okay so bad day today well anyways now we have got this record as updated so I'm gonna write uh, db dot names dot find and dot pretty well it doesn't need pretty right now I can see that pretty much I got name to mail right now if I write like uh, db dot names dot insert and say like uh, name to mail and uh, like web website to null right and if I run the same command here with mail 2 it enter same command mail 3 like that and I just have four records and what I want to do now is I want to say update and actually let me just clear this out because it kind of sucks on writing a command terminal but uh, you know I'm helpless I've just start, started the series so let's just edit this or actually let's just make it to this thing and db.names.update update and then actually I'm gonna say this should be uh, the website in this case and this should be null and if it is null then what I want to do is set the name the name to not activated account or inactive account or whatever you want to say that and hit enter you can see that it matched one but if you have looked closely enough in our find you would see that our object like those were actually there were three objects right but it just worked with one right so what you, what that means pretty much is that it's not working on all objects at the same time so what you need to do is right here with this set you want to add a multi to be true which kind of makes sure that uh, all of the records are updated true and hit enter and uh, wait a minute looks like we again have some sort of syntax problem so this should be multi to be true and uh, make sure you get rid of that as well now you can see that in n match 2 n modify 3 so now if I well that is a such a pain to get this thing right because it's following my cursor but anyways so now if I say um, db.names.find and you can see that the name all the names are 
change to not activated and the reason the first one is changed to not activated as well is because the website null matched that one as well because the field doesn't exist at all so now you can what you can say is that uh, now you can just add another record right there and say like uh, website is Google and now you can say that whatever website is null say you you are fired and hit enter now see the records not pretty hit enter now you can see that Google is retained other all three are kind of changed to you are fired right so that is how you pretty much do a very basic updation in MongoDB and again as I said in the last one there are more complicated and complex way to update data but right now we don't need them because we are kind of learning that so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one